already recording. Oh, here, can you see me? Hold it still. What up, guys? It's Angly Addict's wife. Woohoo! Right, seven minutes Sunday. We are going to make a pulley rig. Here it goes. I believe that we need some of this. We also need some of this, maybe a bit of this, and then it's. I'm, I'm thinking maybe one of these guys, maybe one of them. Uh, how about one of those? Not sure. One of them. One of them. Can you see that? I don't know. And oh, there's some more. Hold on. And maybe two of them. And. What you do is you basically put all of that together, maybe with some beads, not sure. And you put it all together and that is how you make a pulley rig. Ooh, almost. There's a few extra parts on that, but we're, we're almost there. We're teaching them, they're getting there. That's what this is for, is to learn. Please remember to subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss anything, especially stuff like that. It's getting to be winter time and we've got the cod and all that business. One of the best rigs for cod is the pulley rig. We are gonna build a pulley rig today. It's minimal parts. For the seasoned angler, this video is probably not for you because you could probably tie these in your sleep. But for the beginner, this is perfect. I've had a lot of people ask me about different lines. The, the line that you use is really a lot of it is personal preference. I like to use suffix for my rig bodies. It's a 60 pound breaking strain line. That's what I like to use. That's what I find that I can manipulate. I like the knots in it. It's just what I like. It's trial and error. You've got to go out and you've got to find a line that suits you. you you'll find one it might take a few spools but you'll find one it's the same thing with your hook link line you will find one that you like i use the oblivion memory free line from aso i like it it's a 20 pound breaking strain it's 0.5 millimeter but it's it's really pliable and it works well with the pulley rig there are an array of pulleys that you can use. You can use this type, these little guys here, this type. These are the ones that I like to use. I find these ones are best. And you can use the new wave type. These are pulley beads from Trident Tackle. I do like these. The only reason that I don't use these more is because of the figure eight that has to go through it. And I feel like puts tension on the bead and doesn't let the line slide through a little bit more. Today we're gonna to use this type of bead. So you're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need a 45 pound breaking strain swivel. Again, these are the ones that I use. You can use any ones that you want. You're gonna need a regular lead clip and you're also gonna need two beads. You're gonna take some of your rig body. Remember, for every ounce of lead that you use, you want 10 pounds of breaking strain line. So I don't use any more than a five ounce lead. So 60 pound is ample. You wanna pull off about three or four feet. On one end, you wanna tie your lead clip. And then the next thing you want is a bead, your pulley bead, and then another bead. So now you've got this. You've got your lead clip, a bead, pulley bead, and another bead. Then, you want to take your 45 pound breaking strain swivel or whichever one that you choose to use and you tie that on the other end. And that's your rig body done. You've got lead clip, bead, pulley bead, bead, rig body, and 45 pound swivel. You get your hook length and your 45 pound swivel and you tie that off there. Now you get your lead and you want to put that on your lead clip. And this is where we're gonna measure the hook length. So you take your pulley bead and that runs all the way to the top, like so. And this will be on your 
main line. Then you take your hook length and you want to run it down. You don't want to make it as long as your rig because it's going to defeat the purpose. You want to cut your hook length line about three or four inches above that hook. And now we tie on the hook. You can use any type of hook you want. It's up to you. There's no specific way, no specific size hook. Then you take your hook length and just tie on your hook. And that's your rig finished. Simple, easy. Just like that. There you go, guys. That is a pulley rig. Great rig for cod, great rig for bass, great rig all around. So really easy to make. You can do it in under five minutes once you get the hang of it. So you've got your lead clip, a bead, a pulley bead, another bead, your rig body, 45 pound breaking strain swivel, your hook length, which is about three or four inches shorter than your rig body, and your hook. The concept of the pulley rig is to get this lead up and out of the way of the seabed so you can deal with the giant fish that you've got on the end. That's it guys, that is the pulley rig. It's a super simple rig, super effective rig. It's super effective, cod season's coming. Use the pulley rig. You can make up 10 of these in about 10 minutes. Thanks for joining in guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Angling Addicts Junior signing out.